بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على نبيه المصطفى أما بعد Contract or act in Islamic commercial law means to tie or to bind because the contract is binding between the two parties, the offerer and offeree. And technically, contract is a, is a legal agreement between two or more persons that creates rights and liabilities. Contracts are the foundation upon which the Islamic finance product rests. We have got so many types of contracts in Islamic commercial law, like uqud al-mu'awadat, contracts of considerations, such as contract of bay, contract of salam, contract of istisna, contract of ijara, and so forth. Uh, we have got contracts of donation, al uqud al like contract of loan, contract of gift, contract of waqf, and so forth. We have also got authentication contracts, or contracts uh, like uh, contract of rahan, contract of kafala, contract of guarantee, and so forth. In Islamic commercial law, for a contract to be binding, there has to be an offer and acceptance between the contracting parties. Offer is an expression of interest expressed by one of the parties inviting the other parties to accept his proposal. An offer has to be, has to be clear, absolute and communicated to the offeree. Acceptance is an expression of approving the second party's the second party's proposal with regards to the same uh, specifications and details expressed in the offer both offer and acceptance could be made verbally or in writing in islamic commercial law for a contract to be valid it has to be made by free consent of both contracting parties. Uh, the free consent of the contracting parties is also known as consensus of both parties without any form of compulsion. If a contract caused by compulsion, by force or fraud, that, con that contract is considered void in Islamic commercial law. And also in Islamic commercial law, for a contract to be valid, the subject matter of the contract has to be owned by the seller. Because the Prophet wasallam prevents us from selling something which is not in our disposal. The contracting parties who conclude the contract uh, must have the legal capacity in order to enter into the contract. Uh, the legal capacity, also known as ahliya, the legal capacity refers to the physical poverty, uh, to the maturity and soundness of minds of the contracting parties who are entering into the contract. In Islamic commercial law, the subject matter of a contract must be halal and legitimate. If the subject matter of a contract will be haram, like pig meat, like dangerous drug, alcohol, the contract is considered illegal and haram. And also, the subject matter of a contract must be certain and identified in order to avoid the element of uncertainty.